Hi everyone, Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Arts Studio, and it is the last day of 2023. One, two, three, one, two, three. Um, sorry, I won't be around in a hundred years to make the same sad joke. Anyway, I am working on this new block. Um, I think it's called Spirit Floral or Floral Spirit. It's a new one that will be on my website. And I'm putting bling on it today because, well, it just needs it. So I wanted to give you a couple of quick tips on how to properly apply bling. Now, what you can see down here is I'm working on this one. I've already put my bling down here and it's, I'm rubbing my hand against it. It's all nice and firm. Um, oops, I ended up with one extra. Well, that happens a lot. So always be careful when you're putting a whole bunch of stones down, you may end up getting a couple that you weren't expecting. Anyway, back to this one. One of the things I wanted to point out is sometimes the area that you're actually applying your bling is slightly larger than the bling itself. In this particular case, the ones I'm using are SS20s. And when I put it in there, it was just slightly smaller than the actual circle itself. So I ended up using a marker to go ahead and color behind the stone, matching the stone color as best I could, so that when the stone is in place, you don't really notice that there is a slight open area around the stone itself. Now, the next thing I wanna show you is how to properly heat set. I know I've done a couple of other videos on this before, but it never hurts to kind of reiterate the process. So what I have here is a silicone sheet I really like these, they're very thin, they're very light. And notice I'm just kind of gently placing it on top of my stones. Now I can kind of see that, I mean, you can see the outlines. So I generally know where I'm going to place the iron. Now I'm just using a plain old hot iron and I'm going to come down straight on the area and I'm gonna hold it there for about 15 seconds. And I'm looking at my clock on my phone um, as it's ticking off the time and I've got about five more seconds seven eight nine ten there we go okay now I'm going to lift this off gently and once again come in with my tweezers and feel the stones yeah they look like they're in really good shape so that's it that's the quick lesson for today um, if you do heat press work with a big heat press, you often will find these available in the same place that you buy your heat press, but they're simply just plain silicone mats. I actually use these for a lot of other things, including setting blocks and uh, setting seams. Uh, they do a really good job of protecting your work. So consider it not only something that you can use on bling, but also for your quilt blocks as well. As always, if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button for more. And I hope you all have a very happy New Year's and a very wonderful 2024. Thanks for watching.